So these guys decide they're going to do a World Stars tour. And Andy McCreeth was part of organizing it. So that him and Regeer, who was one of the agent's clients, they put in a good word for the Redster. So that all of a sudden, the Redster is invited on the World Stars tour with like Shanahan and Rob, with Todd Blake and M- Hashik and Marty Broder and like stars, oddly. Yeah. yeah why wouldn't anyway. he be invited? Yeah. Yeah. Really fit in. So I'm nervous from the start. So, and then Marty McSorley's coaching with who else was coaching? I can't even remember because Marty was so obnoxious as a coach. He was like, we're over in Europe. At first we think, all right, we're going to treat this as our, this December. And so we're going to treat this as a get in shape in case these negotiations turn and we play after Christmas come the new year. We're kind of like, yeah, okay. That's what's probably going to happen. So, okay. We're going to get in shape, play some games. Well, halfway, not even three games into this trip, the the union offers up a 24% rollback and all these cuts and kind of our big proposal. And the league kind of winks and goes, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. So we're like, Put this in definitely, we're, definitely we're not playing. So it is full on party mode, except that Marty <laughs> McSorley, he's coaching and he thinks we should be serious about this. So now he's benching guys. He's having morning skates. We're like moving, guys, sitting guys if they're not making plays and giving them shit for penalties. And guys are like, oh, I've heard enough already. Anyway, we're in Switzerland after game. And so after the games, you always have a mix and mingle with the sponsors, you know, with fans, sponsors. So you have a few drinks and you hop on the bus back to the hotel and then hit hit the town well i get smashed up at the mix and mingle thing and get on the bus and marty because he's the coach he sits right at the front of the bus right because that's where the coach sits and so i think i'm funny so i got this joke it's called the whale joke so i strap to the front of the bus so i'm feeling pretty cool i grab the mic and i start my joke and it's well what sound and i'm asking marty so what sound does a mouse make squeak squeak what sound does a cat make meow meow dog woof woof horse elephant you know i'm going through all these and you drag it out as long as possible and then it's everyone's like what is this idiot this is terrible then you get to the what sound you what sound does a whale make You take a sip of your beer and he exploded all over Marty. I think I just ruined my computer. Oh, you (laughs) could. So I blow this. The whale spout blew all over Marty. And everyone's dying laughing. It's hilarious. Like, I'm high fiving on the way to the back. Guys are like, ha, ha, funniest joke ever. I think it's great. Why don't we retro? Yeah. (laughs) I had the long locks and the the blonde hair and I'm sitting in the middle seat in the back. It's the bench seat, right? And I'm right in the middle and Marty's at the front and he keeps looking back and his head is like red, like exploding mad. And I'm still laughing. And I, I don't know if I said something else like, ah, don't shoot the messenger, Marty. <laughs> Cause I got, I'm on a roll, right? I got to keep it up. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden the big galoot he's up and he's charging. And he's oh, coming dear. down the bus down the aisle. <laughs> and I'm like, whoo. <laughs> I, I'm like, what, what's going on now? What? Right. So, and he runs to the back and he picks me up by my long hair and just picks me up and boom, smashes my head down on the ground. Like I'm a piece of lumber. Just you, let you Eric, now you got Blake on an arm and Domi on a leg and Shanahan's grabbing something and they're trying to pull him off me. And I'm, ducking and diving trying to hide it was an absolute shit show and uh yeah so that's uh that's the whale joke and then my buddy deke did it he walked up to rob blake in, in vegas one year in the summer and because he knew blake was there and he's like hey rob you ever what sound does a whale make and blake's like what the hey what? you know yeah, that yeah <laughs> so, yeah 
Marty was so strong, like farm oh. boy strong, right? Because that's he almost not dumb. an exaggeration that it would take four guys to pull him off of you. Dude, he literally picked me up by my hair and threw <laughs> like it was nothing in a small, compact area. Like I was under the chair in an instant. Whew. Sorry, Marty. So fast forward about 10 years. I'm at this charity event. It's uh, hockey, playing hockey, whatever. I can't even mark Napier. Like it was some some guys are going through town. Marty McSorley is one of the NHL celebrities that that were playing. I don't know, fireman or something. It's like, oh, I'll have to tell Marty. Mm. Oh, have a good laugh. Hey, Marty, how you? Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the radio. Uh, do radio show here in town. Uh, me and Rhett Warner. Uh, you remember Rhett? Yeah, it's good. Thanks. <laughs> over conversation. Over. He would say, if you saw him today, he might pick you up by the hair again. No, we made up. Did you we kiss him? Make up? Yeah, we made up. I God, apologize. Man. So how? Well, I apologize how then too. In, and th yeah, that's good. Yeah. 